Good morning, everyone. Well, we continue with our theme of dying to ourselves, you know, so that we can obviously be aware of our spirituality. Uh, Jesus in Luke's Gospel today, chapter 9, uh, predicts his death and resurrection to the, the apostles, sort of saying, I'll die and that's what has to happen to me and I'll be raised. But he then goes on to say, make sure that you're, you've got yourselves in the right uh, frame of mind. He says, what gain is it for a man to have won the whole world and to have lost or ruined his very self? If we put too much faith in the things of this world and we lose our relationship with Christ, then we perhaps might be in a category where, where this is that Jesus is talking to us. We also need to remind ourselves when Jesus says these things, it sounds quite harsh, but Jesus says them because he wants us to come back to him. He wants us to come back to him. And if we have fallen short of the mark, and we all do, then we need to go before the Lord and say, Lord, I'm sorry. And this is a good time during Lent to say, it's a new beginning for me. I'm going to, I'm going to renew my relationship with Christ. I'm going to avail myself of the sacrament of reconciliation, even if it might be years since you last went to confession. This might be a new beginning for you and a new opportunity to move away from having your faith in too much materialism and putting your, your faith more in the hands of God. Now, I promise you I'm not standing on a pedestal when I say these things. My deepest concern for everybody is that we should all be saved. I often think that if, uh, if ever I was at the pearly gates and, and Peter, St. Peter said, look, just you know, watch it for a minute, I'm going to go and get a cup of coffee. I would never be in the position to say, no, you may not come in. I believe that everybody needs salvation. And I'm also aware that everybody needs to work towards it. And therefore to make sure that our priorities are right. So when Christ says, what gain is it for a man to have won the whole world? We can't take any of it with us. We can't take any of it with us. So let's make sure that our souls and our spirits are, are, uh, are enriched and that we are enthusiastic and alive in our spirituality. So we'll see a whole queue of you outside confession. No, we hope to see some of you at the Second Reconciliation during Lent. Keep yourselves well. We'll see you again. God bless. Bye-bye.